Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to this tutorial on Media Express. Today I'm going to show you how to get around a couple of little issues that you might have with Media Express. And uh, for those of you who don't know what Media Express is, it's an application or program that's quite often used with ATEM switches. So if you've got an ATEM switcher and you want to feed some media into it, Media Express is a great way of doing it via a Blackmagic card of some sort. So let's first have a look at the problem. We'll open up Media Express and when I want to play media that I've created say through an iPad and I've uploaded it uh, is, as an MOV file, I can have an issue with the formats and to demonstrate I'll just drag this media across and try and drop it in here and I get this unable to import because the format is not appropriate. It's a format that uh, Media Express won't uh, accept. So to get around this problem, we'll just go OK and minimize this. I'm going to go to a, an application called Stream Clip. And Stream Clip is an application made by Squared5. It's a free application. It's a really good application for converting formats. Okay, so to use Stream Clip, very simple. Just drag your media onto it. You can scrub through your media to see that it's the media that you uh, wish to add. And then what you need to do for this particular example is go to File, Export to QuickTime, and you'll get a number of different options. Some of those options are my personal preferences and some of the options are necessary to work in Media Express. So let's work from the top down, changing the options. So I'm going to start with the compression. I'm going to change the compression to H.264, which is a very efficient codec. And then I'm going to limit the data to 2 megabytes per second. And then this one here, the sound, this is one of the ones that you, you must change if you want to uh, use your video in Media Express. So you need to change it to 48K. That's very important. And the second thing that you have to do is change the frame rate to 25 frames. These are the two essential changes you need to make to your video format if you want to use it in Media Express. The next thing I'm going to do is change the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Now one of the other things about Media Express is that it will only work with the one uh, form of resolution. It will only take one type of resolution at a time. So make sure you set it at a particular resolution and you use it for all your clips. So those are all the changes I need to make for this video. Now I'm going to convert it, so I'll say make movie, change it to green machine converted, I'm going to put it on the desktop and hit save. Now depending on the speed of your machine and the length of your video will determine the time it takes to convert it. This is a very short video and I've got a fairly quick machine so it won't take too long. Well my video has been converted which is really good. I'm going to minimize this, bring up Media Express, drag the converted video across, let it go and as you can see it will now play the video which is really cool. Currently I have my audio not connected so you won't hear any audio from this video but you can see the green bars going up and down uh, means that the video is producing some audio. If I want to get rid of this video, I just uh, select it and hit delete and away it'll go. The second part of this tutorial is adding an image. Now the same problem applies. Firstly when I drag it across, let go, it says it's not supported. So we just select OK on that. One thing to note, same thing that I said before, I'm using a 1920 by 1080 uh, image because I want to be able to play both my video and image at the same time. So we'll minimize this again, go back to stream clip, drag the media, the image on top and it will replace the video and go back to file, 
and export to QuickTime. And now there's only one thing I need to change for this particular image to work and it's the compression. So I select the compression and I want to go down to black magic RGB 10 bit and select make movie. And I'll add converted at the end of this and hit save. Now images are super quick because there's just not much to convert. Bring up Media Express again. And we'll drag our converted image across. And there we have it. We have that converted image. And so you can actually play two different types of media. You can play the video and the image. And you can actually play them together at the one time. Just like that. Once again, you see the green audio coming up, so it's got audio, and then at the end, it will stop on the image, which is really cool. The last thing I want to show you, I won't say this, is that in Stream Clip, you can actually go to File and Export to QuickTime, and you can see here it says Presets, so I select Presets, and I've got these saved presets, studio, studio photo. So I can actually add a new one. And I want to create a new preset, yes. I'll call this photo and hit OK. And what that will do is it will save the presets. So when I want to use it again, I'll select load. It'll load those presets and I'll be able to use it for the particular video or image that I want to change and I won't have to go through all those different presets that I did uh, initially. I'll cancel out of that. Well that's how you change video and images into an appropriate format to use for Media Express. I hope that helps you when you're using ATEM switches uh, or any other form of Blackmagic device.